The initial reports of the incident that took place on 27 November in the Iranian city of Absurd suggested that an explosives-laden car blast forced the convoy carrying the scientist to stop, with armed assailants subsequently attacking it and mortally wounding Fakhrizadeh. Iranian media suggested that of the all assailants had been killed, but provided conflicting reports on their numbers. Several convoy guards were also killed in the attack. One Iranian media outlet previously reported, citing an anonymous source, that the assailants used a remote-controlled machine gun to kill the scientist and that no actual enemy fighters were present at the scene of the attack, in contrast to the initial reporting of the incident. The assassins who killed Iranian nuclear scientist, Professor Mohsen Fakhrizadeh on 27 November, might have used an Israeli-made remotely controlled or automated mounted gun in their attack. The outlet pointed out that the Israeli company Smart Shooter had recently unveiled two models, the Smash Hopper and Smash Hopper Lite, both of which are essentially machine guns mounted on a tripod or a special pedestal and equipped with a way to control them remotely, as well as with the company's Smash Gun sight. The FARS news agency had reported that an unmanned gun was purportedly used in the scientist's murder, but added that it's possible Tehran is simply seeking to avoid embarrassment by claiming that the enemy used a completely new method to craftily kill Fakhrizad in broad daylight. No such reports about the use of innovative weapons emerged after earlier assassinations of Iranian nuclear scientists. The online media outlet admitted that it's equally possible that a weapon like Smash Hopper was used to kill the scientist or that the original report of an armed group ambushing Fakhrizadeh's car was true. The drive added that it was also possible that a combination of tactics was used, where a mounted automatic gun served as a diversion to give a strike group a chance of taking their target by surprise. Smart Shooter has not commented on the outlet's suggestion that its weaponry was used in the attack. Smart Shooter has long sold the latter as a means to improve accuracy, the site can lock on and track targets, allowing a shooter to only pull the trigger when they have the highest chance of hitting their target. With the Smash Hopper series the company went even further, practically removing the shooter from the equation. Now a mounted gun with a smash sight can be controlled remotely or even set to find and shoot the designated target by itself.